Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. Get ready, My Long Island TV starts now. Picture, picture, picture. Go back. Group hug. This two week program is essentially to um, learn about the biodiversity of Cold Spring Harbor using DNA barcoding, which is a process that um, we take samples, we collect samples, and we extract the DNA from it. And uh, we have to have the DNA sequence and we have to analyze it to figure out whether um, a sample what species it is or what species it's closely related to. The results we get back actually do look very similar to barcodes that you might find on like a supermarket. They have a whole bunch of lines and the more lines it is, the more uh, different it is from like a, a, another species. I was introduced uh, to Cold Spring Harbor uh, DNA Learning Center when I was at a meeting at the Smithsonian a couple months ago and it was um, a meeting that's trying to figure out how to um, do miniature biological surveys with uh, uh, in, in science classrooms and uh, as a demonstration would be the sample size of one cubic foot. You know, how much life can you find in sort of a manageable sample size, something that fits in your lamp, something lap, something you can put your arms around. It's not, it's not abstract, it's, it's one cubic foot. Part of you know wanting to photograph the natural world and and the creatures that that make it work, you know, including the very small things, is to, is to know what those creatures are, to know what their names are, you know, so that you can so that you can remember and talk about and communicate. Well, this one's different than this, and this one has this relationship with this one. Um, and if you don't have a name or a way to differentiate, you can't, you know, you you can't tell the story. A written description isn't really enough. I mean, even if you're a skilled taxonomist and you write three pages about every little characteristic of this creature, um, it's still not as efficient as uh, a nice, sharp picture. So the DNA Learning Center had uh, this tradition of uh, offering the after-school programs for training students in the methodologies that are used in modern science, but also with uh, environmental problems and issues that, that we are related with, uh, with our uh, natural environment. This was a very uh, dynamic group, very uh, interesting combination of students. All of them came from different backgrounds. Several of them came from, uh, from Long Island, but we have some students that came from, uh, from North Carolina, some students that came from uh, North Korea, but they are uh, studying here in a boarding school. So we have an international uh, community. I wanted a major in biology, but I was never placed in like an intensive lab setting. So I just wanted to see if it would have been a right fit for me. And even though it is predictable and you do do the same techniques over and over again, it's really like enjoyable for me. So now I know that science is where I want to go. And in five to ten years, I see myself um, being a doctor, maybe for people who are like hearing impaired. I want to work with cochlear implants. So it'll be nice that I had lab experience from that. Well, I've been going to the camps here since I could start after like the uh, summer of uh, fifth grade like going into sixth grade. So I've been going to camps ever since then. I saw this, it was, um, it looked new and exciting. So I said, why not try it? When I first started like working with this kind of stuff, uh, I wasn't really uh, sure if I liked it. I thought before like, oh, maybe not like this. Doesn't look like fun or whatever. And then I started getting into it and just had like an explosion of fun and everything. Uh, and just really exciting time overall. A lot of people think that I'm crazy. <laughs> They're like, you'd rather sit and learn than like do something else. I'm like, yeah, 